Hello, I'm Richard Wilson of Wilson Tree Surveys and today I'm going to demonstrate the PICUS 3 sonic tomograph. One of the questions I'm asked most often is, is my tree safe? Or how can I make my tree safe? We can do a lot of things just by looking at a tree and give it a visual assessment. We can look at the species, its location, its size, the geometry of the tree and whether it has any gross defects that we can see from the outside. But often it's necessary to understand what's going on inside the tree, what the quality of the wood is, are there any defects, is there any damage. And in order to do that traditionally the tree has either been cut open or it's been drilled uh, and a core sample taken or measurements taken of the resistance to the drill as it goes into the tree. A sonic tomograph is a method of imaging what's going on inside the tree without damaging it. So tomography is the process of visualising a two-dimensional cross-section through an object. And you might have uh, come across it in uh, medical uh, circles where uh, X-ray computer-aided tomography images slices through the human body. Sonic tomography uses sound waves to image what's going on inside the tree. The basic principle is that sound waves are generated on one side of the tree, they pass through the wood of the tree and are picked up by listening microphones that are positioned around the, the rest of the tree. The distance between the point where the sound is generated and where it's heard is known accurately and the time that elapses between generation and pickup is also known accurately and using that information the, uh, the PICUS 3 device calculates the velocity of the sound waves. Anything that um, degrades the quality of the wood reduces the velocity of the sound waves. So by repeating this process a number of times around the tree you can build up a map of what's going on inside. So how do we actually do this? Well, it all begins with the humble galvanised nail which is tapped into the side of the tree but only far enough to go through the bark um, and just touch the wood inside. The, uh, the nails are then numbered consecutively to assist with identification and the listening microphones are placed on the back of the nails. We then use this device which is a, a, a measuring caliper and that communicates with the PICUS 3 through Bluetooth and that caliper measures accurately the distance between all of these measuring points around the tree. Once that information has been gathered we then move on to the measurement itself and to take a measurement we use uh, a, a hammer which again com communicates with the PICUS 3 using Bluetooth. A striking pin is positioned on the back of the first nail and it's simply struck like that five times and each time it's struck the sound waves are generated in the nail, they spread out through the tree and are picked up by the listening microphones and again that's repeated all the way around the tree. When that information has been gathered, the device processes all that information and presents it as a two-dimensional map of what's going on inside the tree. I've got a couple on the computer ready to show you. The first one is a scan of this log. The browns and the blacks are good quality wood. So at the time I took this scan, which was just after the tree had been failed, there were no, um, no defects at all within this log. But we can compare that with another scan which I took of a horse chestnut tree in Stanmore. This tree had a big bracket fungus on the side of it in about this location. 
The white is a hollow, that's an absence of wood. The purples and blues are heavily degraded wood, so that's wood that's been decayed. And the green is what's called um, intermediate quality. It's infected by the fungus but hasn't been appreciably degraded. And so with this tree, we were able to say, well, there's a lot of remaining holding wood, but not sufficient to maintain a full crown on the tree. And so this particular tree was crown reduced uh, quite heavily um, to improve the safety factor. So I hope that's given you a feeling for what this device does and how it can be used. So we can, on the one hand, say whether a tree is safe, or we can say what needs to be done to the tree to make it safe, uh, or indeed if there are disputes between people about whether a tree should be retained, well, this is objective information that can help resolve that kind of issue. So, thank you very much. I'm Richard Wilson of Wilson Tree Surveys. Thank you.